Welcome back to another Secrets of the Pros here. And uh, I want to shout out to all the fans. Remember to support me in uh, on YouTube and also my website, www.pristineproduction.website.com. And uh, I want to have a I want to have a special treat here for you. We're going to be talking about the Soka Foundation all the way back from the 1990s. And uh, I'm bringing in a rhythm here, uh, Byron Lee style. For those of you who don't know about it, so Soka Calypso Star band from that band. I'm a big fan. And I'm going to give you the uh, authentic roots here, how I constructed this rhythm here. Also known as the Swing the Engine Loop. And uh, remember guys to support me. And I want to let you know how we can do this here. So uh, remember to hit me up on YouTube. Keep that subscriber coming. And let's take a dive into this track here. Of Swing the Engine Breakdown. Here we go. Let's get right down into it here. So, how the hell did I construct this rhythm here, man? Ray, what are you doing? Now, remember I told you guys, I told you once and I told you twice. When it comes to rhythms, I break this thing down in my head. And I'm a big fan of, of Byron Lee and uh, the Dragoneers. You might familiar, um, be familiar with these uh, soca tracks, Swing the Engine, um, um, Butterfly, Os Oscar B and Admiral Bailey. You might be familiar with um, Dollar Wine and all these uh, tracks here. But this is one of the renowned rhythms here. And people might say, Ray, how did you come up with the original dead-on sound of Swing the Engine? How did I do that? And of course, have a little sample going on here. So let's get right on. How do we break the engine down? How do we pop the hood? Let's pop the hood on the soca rhythm here. So the first thing is first, when it comes to soca music, and, and this is the foundational, uh, you know, if you're gonna be making Byron Lee kind of stuff, man, you gotta be coming straight, you gotta be coming with charisma. So let's get into it here. So first thing is first, I need to make sure I have a kick drum going here. So this is the pulse here. Doing a little bit of EQ here. Off on. I want that kick to be snappy here. Any nice present kick will do. And of course, I want to make sure I get the percussions right. So I'm going to bring in the percussion here. So this is what I'm, this is what I'm playing here. And I'm going to add a little bit more of, add a little bit of volume here with, with, with the uh, SSL channel strip here. That's what I'm playing here. Now, believe it or not, guys, how did I get the rhythm so dead on close? It sounds like the real thing is is my ear. That is my gift. So I'm telling you guys, if you want me to mix and master your tracks, we want to produce Soka for you, authentic Soka, Calypso, Ska Soka, hit me up. I have reasonable prices and rates that I mix and master for Soka, um, R&B artists, reggae artists, dancehall artists, of course, Calypso artists, you know, and art, you know, and, and, and all that other stuff. Pop and all that stuff. So how did I know that this was the pattern here? You got to listen to real carefully to soca. You, you got to break it down in your ears. So I'm going to start, uh, start with the percussion here. And I'm going to bring in a snare drum. I have a two snare. I'm going to bring in the other one. That's what I'm doing there. 
Now the tricky part here is you got to make sure you find a nice snare. A snare make a whole big, a, a lot of difference. I'm using uh, actually three. I have two samples put together in, in contact. By the way, I'm running contact six. And um, I'm, ha I'm having that snare hitting there. And I want a little bit more bottom end similar to the original one uh, that Byron, uh, By Byron Lee used, his producers. So I bring in the second snare here. I'm going to isolate um, the second snare. That's what I have. And this is just to, to create some body here. I'm running that through the smack attack, by the way. If I play without, it kind of get a little bit sustained. I want it a little bit more vintage, but a little bit more tighter. So I have the smack running on that. Combined with the other snare. Two of them combined gives you that knock. Kick drum and the percussions here. Now this is the part where uh might confuse people here. Yeah, I'm gonna bring in actual snap. Let's do that. Now why am I playing the snap that way? Actually, I listened to the original song and I paid clean uh, keen attention to the percussion line here and what I've heard was just by itself in my ear. This represents what I'm hearing in my ears when I'm hearing the full mix. That's the pattern. So when I combine that with the boat snare, the kick drum, and the percussion, one more thing is this, and that's the Congo drums here. I'm going to bring in uh, both of them. And... Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and uh, I'm going to see if I can bring in, uh, let's see here. I'm going to make a little bit of adjustment here because I'm, I'm hearing a little bit of delay. I'm going to pull the, well, not really a delay, but a little bit of space. I'm going to see if I can tighten up. Let's go here. Let's go to the Congo drum first. Right about there. Okay. Now, what I can do is I want I want I want the quiet part to have a little bit more definition. So I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight these parts here, and I'm gonna bring up the volume on the first double hit. So let's I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna double click here. You want to make sure in soca music that the percussion is constant here. Maybe go right about here. Bring up the volume a little bit more. I'm going to group all of this. And I'm going to chop the front and the back. I'm going to bring them back in. I don't know. So that's what that's playing right there. And then the second one. So that's what I'm playing there. If I want, I could have gone constant with the second Congo drum doing that toop, 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 toop. But I wanted some movement here. So uh, let's bring uh, that uh, right back in. So we have the both Congo drum, the snap, the percussion, uh, the kick drum, and two snares. You might say, Ray, how do you know it's two snares? Well, maybe they're using one from a drum machine, but um, for me, two um, creates one unique sound. So let's play. And uh, then we're going to use the bass line here. Now the bass was a little bit um, not tricky, but I wanted an old vintage bass because we we we're bringing back the Baron Lee sound here. So I I, I use an old uh, finger bass here from Contact here, and this thing sounds beautiful. Um, let's 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 get it. Mm -hmm. 
That's what I wanted. Constant punch. And uh, then I had the orchestral hit. Bring in uh, the sample vocal. Have the walk it up, walk it up thing there. And then I'm gonna create, uh, have the funk guitar. Of course, we want to lay down some pad here. Create that vibe. So I'm going to leave that with you guys. That's how we create the Soka Foundation from the 90s there. And uh, if you want to buy the sample pack, it's going to be on my website. Link in the description. Catch you guys on the next one.